Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, an easy recording solution using pedals you probably already own. As guitar players, we're all looking for ways to easily record ourselves. Whether we're making demos, we're writing songs, even when you're practicing, you want to hear back what you're working on. Now, it can be a pain to have to set up a microphone, get your amp out, plug everything in, and get a tone going. How much easier would it be if you didn't have to use any microphones, if you could just go straight into your audio interface and make your recordings? And I've got a solution today for how to do that. I'm joined by Don Carr from here at Sweetwater. Don, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you being here. Don and I are both pedal junkies. We have tons of pedals, a couple different pedal boards. What we've done is selected a few that work really well for recording straight into an interface. Face. So let me show you my signal path. What we have here is Don's 513 guitar plugged straight into a compressor pedal. This happens to be an MXR Dynacomp. We're coming out of that into a Boss Super Overdrive, then into a Sansamp Paradriver DI. Now this is an important pedal in our chain because it's also providing some amp simulation for us. Coming out of there, we're going into a Zoom Multi Stomp. This is providing reverb if we want chorus, if we want some delay, multi effects. It'll do all those effects for us. We're coming straight out of the Multi Stomp into my audio interface, which in this case is a Motu Ultralight AVB that I have connected by USB to my Macintosh. I've got Cubase running inside my Mac, and I've got a couple of tracks created here. I'll play those for you so you can hear where the song's at. Basically, what I have are drums and a bass track. So what we want to do today is lay down a rhythm guitar track, an acoustic guitar track, and a lead track, and we're going to do that using our four pedals. So let's check out what these pedals are doing for us. I'm going to begin by turning all the pedals off so you can hear the sound of Don's guitar straight into the interface. Don, go ahead and play a little bit. The first thing we'll do is turn on the Sansamp Paradriver DI because this is the biggest component in our sound quality. What this does for us is give us a little bit of amplifier emulation. It's got a built-in 3-band EQ, it's got a little drive and gain so we can get some grid in our tone, sweepable mid-range for shaping the sound, and it also has a blend control so we can mix some of the dry sound in if we want. In this case, I've got the blend turned all the way up and I've got a little bit of drive there so again we have a little bit of grid in the signal. Here's what that sounds like. As we were working on this track, we felt like we could smooth it out just a little bit and maybe fatten the tone just a little bit as well. And that's where the Dynacomp comes in. Now for ambience, we're using the Zoom Multi Stomp. I've got this set for a hall reverb. You can see how simple this is. Just plug a few pedals in, dial in a nice setting, and you're basically ready to go. All I have to do is hit record in Cubase. So that's how easy it is to record a track using just a couple of stomp boxes straight into your interface. You may have noticed Don's not even wearing headphones, we're both just listening to the studio monitors so we didn't have to create a separate mix or even run a cable for the headphones at all. Very simple. Now we'll use our exact same setup to record a direct acoustic guitar. In this case, we'll be coming through the Paradriver DI. I've tweaked the controls just a little bit to take out some of that piezoelectric sound, make it sound a little bit more natural. I've got a little bit of blend going on here, so we've got mostly direct signal, but a little bit of amplifier simulation actually to take a little bit of that harshness out of the mid-range. Works very well using this. I've also got the air switch engaged, which gives us a little bit more sparkle. I'm coming out of that, running into our Zoom Multi Stomp, which is providing some ambience for us. And what I've done is created a second track inside Cubase. It's panned to one side, and our electric rhythm guitar is panned to the other side. Now we'll have Don go ahead and lay down his acoustic guitar part. So now we've got our acoustic guitar track recorded, and in the track it sounds really nice, and again, we didn't have to use a microphone, very simple to record. One thing we could have done to make it even a bit cleaner would have been to use a sound hole cover on Don's guitar. That would have prevented sound from the speakers getting in there and resonating. But in this case, I think we got a great recording just using a very simple straight ahead system. Now let's record our lead guitar pass. In this case, Don's going to switch over to my trusty gold top Les Paul just to give us a little bit different vibe in the track. We'll be running that through a Wazacraft Super Overdrive, through the Sansamp Paradriver DI, and then through the Multi Stomp for a little bit of delay. Just as a reminder, here's our dry guitar sound. 
Now we'll add the Sans Amp Paradriver DI. Now what I've done here is set this up to simulate a clean guitar amp. I've got the blend turned all the way up. I've got the air switch on to give us a little bit of extra sparkle. The drive is turned down so we're not getting any breakup. It's a nice clean sound. And I'm boosting the mids and the highs just a little bit. For our overdrive, I'm going to be using a Boss Wazacraft Super Overdrive pedal. This has a nice smooth tone that I think is going to work well for this track. To give this some life, we'll want to add some delay in here. We're using the multi-stop set to an analog delay setting, and here's what that sounds like. Now recording our track is as simple as creating a new track inside of Cubase and hitting record. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how easy it is to record great sounding tracks using stop boxes you may already own going straight into your audio interface. All you really need to make sure that you have is some sort of device that will give you amplifier emulation. In this case we're using the Sansamp Paradriver DI which works great both for electric and acoustic guitars. Once you have that amplifier emulation pedal that can serve as the centerpiece of your recording chain, then add whatever other stop boxes you want to your taste. Overdrives, distortions, fuzzes, choruses, compressors, reverbs, delays, whatever you want, plug it into your signal path and go straight into your audio interface and you'll get great sounding tracks. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. Here's our finished mix to take us out. <laughs>